Hey guys, what's going on here? It's World of Colzel back for another episode of the Rusty Turd. And today, I am going to be doing this one exactly like I did with the Golden Turd. But instead of the nicest cards on the market, I am going to give you my personal list of my top 5 worst cards ever. So, yeah, let's begin. Number five is the Saturn Ion. I just personally do not like these cars because just the way they look on the exterior and the amount of problems that they have. They're just overall not the bestest car that you want to be buying. It's just, it's like, get this, okay? It's like the dollar store just started selling cars, right? These are the kinds of cars that they're gonna freaking try to sell to people. Do not buy cars from the dollar store, guys. Man, this car's got so many freaking issues. And a few, a few of these have been recalled by General Motors for electrical system fails like electrical system if the ignition switch moves from the run position to the accessory the car would stall right like yeah and another electrical system failure is if the key can be removed from the ignition is not in the off position and the vehicle can roll that's not good at all and then last is the steering. If the power assist is lost, greater driver effort would require be required to steer the vehicle. Yeah, so sounds like fun, right? Let's buy a Saturn, right? Nothing could go wrong about it. So yeah, with the sound of all this, I don't think anybody's asking for Saturn to be revived at all. Or the Ion. It doesn't matter if Chevy, Buick, or any of those use the branding. I don't think anybody's going to be asking for an Ion remake or Saturn to be brought back anytime soon. Number four is the Chevy Blazer. And I just mean the new Blazer, not the old Blazers from the 1990s, 2000s, and 1980s. I'm talking about this new, the new Blazer, the new generation. I just don't care about it. It just looks like the freaking Chevy Equinox. It just looks like a freaking Chevy Equinox. I just don't really care for it, you know? I mean, sure, it gets decent gas mileage and the engine um, specs and stuff like that. The interior features, yeah, sure, I mean, those look awesome. But I just don't care for it. I just like the old Blazers better. And it, it really, a Blazer RS, really, I just, I just think that's dumb. And also, hey, let's get a 2023 because it's the official vehicle of dumb asses who don't know how to drive out there thinking they're yeah, 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 like they're so cool. They think they're so cool that they can just roll up to any house party and show up and show this off to their friends. Hey, I got a new blazer. It's so cool. You're just going to look like the biggest idiot in town there, son. 
Because freaking nobody's gonna like your blazer. They just like the old blazer. And also, the blazer is official vehicle of Karen's. They'll block you in and get your license plate and ask for your manager and they'll report you to the police and stuff like that. And also, official... Yeah, you get it. Number three, the Ford Mustang Mach-E. I simply just don't care for this car because it's electric, it's an electric horse. It's a freaking Ford Mustang combined it with a... Ford Edge combined it with a freaking Tesla model. I don't care about it. I don't want this in my driveway. I would rather have a nice, restored 1965 Ford Mustang in my driveway with a 389 V8 engine. I don't care about this new electric car crap. And then I'm going to get you guys in the comments saying, Ugh, but it's good for the economy and stuff like that. Doesn't mean I can't hate it. I don't care. I still don't like it, and I wish they never made it. Number two is this Ford Explore Sport track. I just don't know why Ford needed to make a truck model out of the Ford Explorer. It was perfectly fine as an SUV. Like, why? Why, Ford? Like, it was just better off in SUV. I mean, don't get me wrong, the engine and stuff like that, the interior features are all fine, but why did you need to make a truck, like an F-150 base, out of this? Like, it was perfectly fine. They could have kept the SUV body for the sport track. Number one is the Honda... Accor See, freaking Honda Ridgeline. I almost con called it a Honda Accord or a Honda Civic because it literally looks like one, except on a truck body. You know, I mean, I do kind of somewhat like it, but I just don't, I don't like it. I don't. Like, why get a truck? That has just the features of a Honda Civic. When you can go for a Chevy Silverado or a GMC or a Dodge. Like, why go for a Honda unless it's like a Civic or something like that? I just don't see why I would buy a Honda Ridgeline. When I could just get a Honda Civic. Like, I don't want a truck that is literally just a freaking sedan. You know? You know what I'm saying? I just don't. Like, I'm sure it's nice and all, but it's just not my cup of tea. A Honda Ridgeline is not my cup of tea. I mean, I'm sure it runs, rides decently, but again, I'm going to say this again. It's not my cup of tea. But a Honda Civic, however, though, I would drive. <clears throat> if I, if I, uh, if I had the money for a Civic, I don't care. I don't care what model year it is. As long as it looks nice and gets me from point A to B, I'll get that. But I will stay clear of the Honda Ridgeline. Well guys, thank you guys so much for watching my top 5 countdown of the ugliest cars ever, in my opinion. If you guys want to see more like this one, drop a like and subscribe. Also, stay tuned for tomorrow on the Golden Turd. This time, when the Golden Turd comes out, we're going to be going back to normal. Maybe sometimes I'll do another one of these or another one of the golden turds who knows but anything is possible though so until then guys thank you guys so much for watching and see you in the next one